Hey, everyone. How are you all doing? I'm really excited to share something amazing with you today. It's called Lingdize, and let me tell you, this tool is a game changer. It can translate your website into over 80 languages instantly. So, you might be wondering how Lingdize manages to achieve such accurate translations across your website. Well, let me break it down for you. Lingdize is actually a WordPress plugin that is seamlessly integrated with a SaaS platform, also known as Software as a Service. This powerful combination enables the automatic generation of high-quality translations. Here's the magic. The Lindice plugin establishes a direct connection between the translation tool and your website. This means that whenever new content is added, the tool automatically detects it and translates it, ensuring that your entire website is consistently translated. And the best part? You have full control over the translations, as 100% of the automatic translations are editable. As an introduction, I'll show you how to quickly connect and translate your website with Lindys. Then, we'll focus on the language switcher configuration and integration to WordPress. We'll see how to set up the display, the advanced design and plugin settings. So, without wasting any more time, let's jump right in and get started. Alright, enough of the preview. Now, let me walk you through the process of creating a Lingdize account and obtaining the API key, so you can install Lingdize on your WordPress site. To begin, you'll need to access the Lingdize website. I'll provide the link below in the description for your convenience. Once you're there, click on the button that will redirect you to the registration page. I should mention that Lingdize offers a full month trial without requiring a credit card so you won't have to worry about canceling any subscription if the trial period expires. After registration, which is a straightforward process, I believe I don't need to guide you through it, you can either register using your Google or Microsoft account or create a dedicated account specifically for your website. For now, I'll be using one of my Google accounts for a quick demonstration. Once you've completed the registration, let's connect Lindys to your WordPress domain by following these steps. First, click on the Add Domain option on your Lingdice dashboard. Then, retrieve your domain's URL, which in this case is your WordPress site, by copying the URL link and pasting it in the designated field. Next, choose the base language for your page, and you're all set. The final step is to copy the provided API key and return to your WordPress page. Navigate to the Lingdice plugin in the left navigation bar. Paste the API key into the main settings and apply the registered API key. And just like that, you're ready to explore the amazing features of this plugin. So, essentially, a language switcher is a button that helps you switch the entire content of your page into other specified languages. Once you've installed Lingdice on your WordPress, you can locate the language switcher features within the Lingdice plugin. The plugin provides you with a convenient method to automatically load the language switcher to all your WordPress pages. By default, when you install the plugin, the language switcher is automatically loaded at the bottom right of each page. Like that, you'll notice a button that allows you to effortlessly switch between languages of your pages. In the plugin help section navigation you have all the integration possibilities detailed. For example, if you prefer to manually add it to a WordPress menu, you can navigate to the menu settings in the Appearance section of your WordPress website. There, you'll find the Lingdice language setting option waiting for you. Simply select it, add it to your menu, and you're good to go. Now, not only can I add the language switcher directly from the main display menu, but I can also include it on any page using a provided shortcode from Lingdice itself. To discover how the shortcode is written, simply access the help section of the plugin, and you'll find it right here. Next, all you have to do is copy the code and proceed to edit the desired page or post where you want to incorporate it. For instance, in this case, I'll select this particular page, access the editing interface, and paste the copied shortcode from the plugin right here. After saving the changes, I'll click on Preview to observe the modifications. Now, I'll switch again to the help menu in the plugin where you have all the integration detailed, including another advanced method that is a PHP snippet to copy to your theme file for example. Let's jump to the next sequence where we'll detail the language switcher design and layouts. In order to make it easier to identify and switch between languages, the language switcher incorporates flags that represent each language. 
I have the flexibility to choose from three different display styles. The first option is the side by side display, which you can see in the plugins preview on the right side. It shows all available languages in a row. However, personally, I find this display a bit cluttered, especially if there are many languages. Therefore, I can switch to either the drop down or pop up setting, where only the current language is visible. Now, let's see how this setting affects my page. I'll go to my page and click on the language setting to change it to another language. Not only will the display change accordingly, but of course, the content of my page will also be automatically translated. Moving on to the flag configuration. To provide further customization options for the switcher, Lindeyes also offers the ability to detail the flag icon. Take a look at all these settings here. Changing the way the language switcher is displayed is one thing, but you can also change how each flag, which represents each language, is displayed. For example, I can change the way each language name is displayed to a short name, like this, so the acronyms of each language will be used. For instance, English would be displayed as EN, Arabic as AR, and so on. Additionally, there are options to change the display name of each language to its native language instead of English, like this. Or you can change the flag icon of each language to a different flag, such as English to Brittany or German to Australia. You can adjust the size of the flags by modifying the flag size here. And if you change the flag type to rectangular, you can adjust the flag border radius to change the border style. Last but not least, you can change the color of the language names and the box shadow color to match the theme settings of your pages. Now let's move on to the advanced settings of the plugin. Now let's shift our focus to the last available options in the advanced section of the plugin. While some of these options are not directly related to the language switcher itself, they can still be beneficial for designers. In addition to the basic settings tab, we also have the advanced settings that allow you to meddle with more plugin options. Within the advanced tab, you'll find settings such as the cache setting. This enables you to utilize resources from the local cache, which speeds up the page rendering process. The browser language redirect automatically redirects users based on their browser language. The translate WooCommerce emails feature automatically translates the emails sent to your customers based on the language they choose for their order. And translate searches enables page visitors to conduct searches in their own language. The pretext and posttext options in the language pop-up allow you to add content to the language switcher pop-up display. So, let's change the display back to the pop-up. From there, we can add text and customize it with different styles like text style or alignment. Once we're done, we can save the changes and go back to the page to preview them. As you can see, when I click on the language switcher, the pop-up display will show the text that I inserted earlier. Another advanced setting is the custom CSS field. This feature enables you to add custom CSS to apply to the Lingai's language switcher. You can modify the text size, style, alignment, or anything else you desire using your own CSS. Lastly, we have the option to insert alternate language tags. It is highly recommended to keep this option enabled on your website, as it provides search engines with all the multilingual URLs to crawl on your website's front end. This is particularly important for SEO purposes. In the next part, I'll discuss the pricing of the plugin and wrap up this video. So please stick around for a little longer. To wrap things up, let's take a look at the pricing for the plugin. In addition to all the plugin features we just covered, Lingai's got all the tools you'll ever need to elevate your business online rank. The plugin also fully integrates with WordPress, WooCommerce, all CMS baked on PHP and soon auto-hosted CMS like Shopify. Lingai's is quite affordable regarding maintenance fees with start package for just $15 per month. But if you want advanced usage, the $25 Pro package would cover it. And lastly, the large package for $45 with unlimited access and no restriction on translation volume. Every new domain has a free month of translation without credit card, so it's risk-free. The yearly memberships are even more affordable with the equivalent of one additional month for free. Thanks for watching this video. If you're watching this video from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to our Lingai's channel to stay informed about new plugin features and ask us any questions using the comments. 
And of course, you'll find all the useful links we've talked about in the description. Have a productive day, bye.